In Simmons PLC programming, date and time data type is comprised of 8 bytes, that is 64 bits. If we divide it into bytes, the byte 0, that is the least significant byte, has the data of the year. Byte 1 has month data. Byte 2 has the day. Byte 3, hour, byte 4, minute, byte 5, seconds, byte 6, well the 8 bits of the byte 6 plus the most significant bit, 4 most significant bits of byte 7 has the information about milliseconds. Well, all the bits of byte 6 plus 4 of the most significant bits of byte 7 well the millisecond is composed of this data while the least significant bit 4 least significant bits of byte 7 has the information about the weekdays, right? So, in this video, the our main purpose is to extract all these information from a variable of the type date and time, right? For example, our variable is named as x, y, z, and the variable is of the type date and time, we are supposed to extract the year, month, day, and the rest of the information from this single date and time type variable. So we will read actually the system clock date and time value and will split that variable into these uh, further we will split into year month day hour minute second so let's go to the semantic manager and start uh, coding in the letter logic well now i have opened the main ob1 of my plc program the main organization block of my plc program i will define a uh, few temporary variables well the year has the data type of uh, integer month day hour minute well in second and uh, most importantly the variable that is the current date and time is of the type date and time and its address is 32.0 so in the first place let, let us read the system clock and for that I have to go to the library and I will have to look for the SFC1 well SFC1 is the system function call for accessing the PLC clock right and from that we can access the we can extract or we can fetch the current date and time of the PLC right Go to a standard library. 
well system function blocks over here I can find this SFC1 well SFC1 is the read clock right it is read clock function now well current date and time would be assigned to the variable I have already defined well this is the return value is actually the temporary return value and it is of the type I think uh, integer well now I have fetched the current date and time of the PLC clock using the SFC1 function call right system function call apart from it I need to have a temporary word as as well because I will need it uh, after some time when I am fetching the year month and uh, all these data from the date and time variable temporary word and it is of the data type word now insert a number of networks well network 2 is for the year month and day so let's do it in the first place I will need to move the least significant byte zero data into the variable year because the least significant byte that is the byte zero in this case the byte 20.0 uh, uh, sorry in this case the byte 20 has the information about the year let me demonstrate it load byte 20 since the address uh, sorry uh, well the load byte 32 right the address of the date and time variable that is the current DT variable uh, its the address is 32 right so the least significant byte the, uh, of this variable has the data of about has the information about the year and uh, I have to access it access it using this variable LB load by 32 and I will temporarily store it into the word temporary word I have defined once I temporarily store it into this word variable the next step is step is to convert well the result into an integer because the temporary word is actually in BCD format binary coded decimal right so from BCD I have to convert it into integer so temporary word well this is the BCD so I will again converting this BCD to the integer and uh, year I have already written it so year is of a type integer so this variable will have my ultimate result you will see it in a while right so let me copy it copy it to and let me change the values well lb32 has bcd information of the year lb33 has the month value and lb34 has the 
day value, right? Month variable of type integer, and this is variable of the type day as I have already assigned it. Now the logic is complete for year, month, and day. So let me save it and download it to the PLC. Well, it has been downloaded, right? Now, if I monitor it using uh, the monitor button over here, you can see that 2022, since it is the 2022 year, so the year has 22 value. It is the third month, that is the March, and uh, this is the 28th, 28th March 2022. So in this way, I have successfully extracted month year and day value from the variable uh, that is the current tt variable of the type date and time so if you have any question or if you haven't understood it you can ask me in the comment section and in the next video i will be extracting the rest of the values that are the hour minute seconds milliseconds and uh, week day value from this variable.